Rub up your engines! Now normally I'd say buying a used BMW convertible, modern one would be a mistake, but this is a unique car. It is a 94 convertible with only 104,000 miles that was made in Germany. Immaculate shape. Don't let the dirt fool you. Huh? It's been set for a while from the old person who didn't drive it. And as you can see, looking at the body, the top's still in good shape. Just needs a little cleaning. You get the dirt off, it's going to look a lot better, but like you say, it's sad. And as we go inside, check it out. All the stuff still works. Even the original radio with a tape deck. The leather has leaves on it, but still in good shape. You can really clean it up with some leather cleaner if you want. And what I really like about these old convertibles are, look, you can manually open and close them. Any of these German convertible tops, when their electronics break, it can cost a fortune. They're all computer controlled with sensors everywhere. You put it back down, you pull it down, check it out. You lock it in place. That's it. You just have to remember to roll the windows down and up when you're doing a job. The Germans even facilitate it. You don't have to do one at a time. Push this, then they all go down. Pretty cool. The AC even still works on this thing. It was maintained by an elderly person. Didn't do it themselves. Paid the dealer to do it. Inline six motor. These things have plenty of power. They're smooth. They can run for Ever. Normally aspirated, it doesn't have a turbocharger on it, it's got dipsticks on it, like they used to have in cars, so you can actually check everything. See the AC system that still works, look at it, 2.2 pounds. Back in the day they had a lot more refrigerant, actually a good idea, because you can get small amounts to leak out and they still work. You take a modern car, many of them have less than one pound. You lose half a pound, you lose half of the volume, it'll start blowing crappy or not cold at all, right? This thing, it could lose a pound and still go. It could lose everything that's in a modern one, it'll still work okay. So, there is an advantage to older cars. Their systems held more refrigerant, hence they blew colder longer, even if they get small leaks over time. It's not the old Freon, it's still the R134A, so you don't have to convert anything. But it's a BMW so they hide the battery but this is your jump start position here if you ever have to jump start it. It's a convertible so it's got a relatively small trunk so that the top and everything can go inside. These cars are solid made. Listen to that. They don't make cars like that anymore. And to top it all off this has been a southern car its entire existence. You don't have to worry about the salt corrosion. If you're looking at one of these babies up north you better check it for rust now i've seen them up north where they didn't rust because the owners like this old man really took care of the cars sometimes they wouldn't drive them in the winter when salt was on the road or they'd have a heated garage and they'd rinse the salt off all the time you can get a northern car that isn't rotted away but you find a southern baby like this jump on it these engines are overbuilt the automatic transmissions are extremely solid. I mean, even look at the strut towers. They look like they did the day they came out of the factory. The guy really took care of this car. Everyone who wants a car like this is looking for an old man, one owner, which is what this one was. My grandson just picked it up. You find something like this, even if you're not that interested in a car and you get a good price, buy it. There are gonna be people all over the world fighting to get their hands on one of these things that's only got a hundred thousand miles on it even though it is 30 years old. You really know how to paint cars. Now, mind you, this one's dirty, but once you get the dirt off, that paint's in immaculate shape all the way around. You can polish this thing. This particular one really doesn't need polishing. It just needs to be washed and waxed, right? But you can buff down one that's a little bit on the rough side and make it look beautiful. This doesn't need it. It just sat for a while, so it's got a lot of dust on it. it. Needs to be cleaned up. If you're looking at one that say it's a little hazy, if you're not going to do it yourself, what a pro buffer can do. I've seen people. I look at them like, boy, that guy looks horrible. It's all flat. They buff that paint down and wax it, and it looks beautiful when they're done. This just needs a cleaning. But if you see one that's a little rough, you wouldn't even need to repaint them in most cases, as long as the paint's still there. It can be buffed out. Most modern cars. 
it's so thin when it's worn out you got to repaint the car not these old ones saying about the top well it's a case in point because it originally had an electronic top but it doesn't work anymore but it's set up that you can easily open it yourself something that you really can't do without an enormous pain in the butt with the modern ones that have those metal shell roofs the metal shell roofs look great they're like a beetle right it's little shiny wings come out under its shell but they break all the time then you're pretty much stuck when these old electric ones break you just turn them into manual ones up and down you don't have to fix it you can put money in and fix it if you want but i'll tell you it'll just break again <laughs> that's the problem that bmw's always had with their convertibles tops were breaking all the time you have a manual override like this hey all the better because rather than trust those electronics it's kind of like a submarine lock and load check it out all this crazy stuff it still works look at that the first thing you're gonna notice is that idle smooth as can be it's just typical for these six cylinder engines we'll take it on the twisties here these are driving cars they're really at home when you're going on the twisties now it is a rag top actual rag top so you do get a lot of wind noise anything with an actual rag top material cloth material it's going to be noisy in the wind that's just how they are it's one of the reasons a lot of the new ones have those metal convertible roofs that are insulated fit in they're a lot quieter there's no arguing that so of course you got no problem taking curves in a car like this it may be old but hey the engine purrs like a kitten when you step on the gas smooth down shifts smooth up shifts it's no different than it was when it was brand new 30 years ago now we'll take a trip to our little drag strip here ready set go takes off smooth shift hey back in the day they know how to make cars in deutschland they weren't planned obsolescence they were overbuilt this thing's 30 years old you would have blindfold somebody put them in this car they never think it was 30 years old. Realize it's also a relatively heavy vehicle, so you feel really stable on the road. And let's say you're going 40, you want to pass somebody, we'll floor it. You can say it takes off plenty fast enough. You do hear the wind noise though. <laughs> They get a bit loud. So if you're looking for a BMW to do really nice, quiet highway cruising, forget this because it is a ragtop and they are noisy when you're going down the road. I've had customers buy ragtops, they end up getting rid of them. They said they're just too noisy for me. Of course, if you're the type of person who's gonna have the top down the whole time, you don't care, then you really got wind. <laughs> and one of the most interesting things about this car is even though it's 30 years old, look where corner I'm taking, you don't hear creaking parts it is still solid and other than the noisy roof it's actually quite a quiet car no creaking no groaning hey these do know how to make things in Deutschland now with this amount of low mileage on a BMW and the original I took care of it I doubt I have any problems but we'll wipe the inside of the tailpipe and it's clean the only thing in it is a little rust because it's sad there's no oil residue it's just a little bit of rust because it's sad of course steel rusts when it sits but of course if you're buying any used car it's a good idea to get a rag wipe the inside of the tailpipe if it's covered with oil you got an oil burner and run away don't even buy the stupid thing unless it's dirt cheap and it's like 07 toyota camry with that 2.4 liter engine that burns oil in which case it'll burn oil but it can still run okay you wouldn't pay much but on the other hand this thing isn't burning oil at all it charts 30 years old but listen to that thing humming away the other thing i hear is the Lowe's delivery truck down the street <laughs> it's making more noise down the street than this one is right here if you can find a one owner that's been taken care of like this perhaps an elderly person can't drive anymore whatever hey snap it off you find a beautiful car like this that runs this good you get a decent price for one hey drive it around for a while if you get tired you can always sell it on to someone else because people love convertibles and a smooth running car like this is going to attract a whole bunch of buyers because it was so solid built anybody who knows cars will get it and drive it will know hey there's nothing wrong with this thing runs good shifts good looks good and when you price out a brand new convertible you might be running to look for one of these things now it might take you years to find one but if you ever do or a friend does hey my advice if a guy like me check it out and if it checks out jump on it 
running this good for a nice low price, it is 30 years old. You're only gonna get so much money for a 30 year old car. That's just a fact. A German convertible made in Deutschland when they used to make them great, it's a pretty impressive car. So if you never wanna miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.